Welcome to Collecting Chaos. Uh, we're going to clean a couple of comics today. Um, but first I need the comics, of course. And I picked out a few Marvels that really aren't worth much. Uh, Spider-Woman number 16 and Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man number 18. Let's we'll just pull them out of the bags. This, is, this has been in the bag for a very long time. And uh, as you can see, the back is a little dirty. And uh, in order to really s send that home, I've done a couple of scans of both of these, the front and back on both of these comics. And I will show that now. So if you want to see me clean these and you want to see how it's going to work, keep watching. Okay, the color gloss on those comics are, is really good and I want to preserve it. I don't want any color gloss taking, taken off. So let's see, what should I use to clean it? I got some sandpaper here. It's a really fine sandpaper, but... Nah, it's, it, it's too abrasive. It'd probably take care of everything. Um, and here's a uh, magic eraser. Again, a little bit too abrasive. Probably take off more than what I want. I got my white regular eraser and my pencil top. These are both the same type. Uh, still, maybe a little too abrasive. For what I want. I got the sponge. Not sure where the cat hit it. <laughs> yeah, I'm blaming the cat because I don't know where it is. Absorbing. This. This is what we're going to use. This is the only thing we're going to use to clean these comics. And I'm going to show you how to do it. First off, First off, we go wash our hands. And maybe even put some gloves on, although I'm not a big fan of wearing gloves when I work on comics. I think I'll make an exception today. These are nitrile gloves. Um, and like I said, even though I'm not a fan of wearing gloves when I work on comics, I'm making an, ex of an exception. because I don't want any chance of any oils from my fingers getting on the comics while I'm cleaning them. And that is a possibility that could happen. Okay. Start with this one. This is Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, number 18. Published well, with the cover date of May in 1978. Now the first thing you have to do is need the absorbing. You need to get it into a workable strength or a workable fashion. This, is a, this one is a little dirty. I've used it a bunch of times. And the only thing I'm going to do to start off with is take off some surface dirt. The nice thing about this is it's non-abrasive and you can go over the colored areas the same as the white areas. You don't have to worry about it. And like I said, all I'm trying to do is take off any surface dirt that's on there. I don't care about getting in any ground in dirt yet. The reason I'm using a, an old board to turn it is it's easier than trying to pick it up with my fingers wearing these gloves. 
like I said, all we're trying to do is get any errant surface dirt. We're really not trying to get anything deep right now. That comes much later. And I can tell by just by looking at it that it is actually taking off some dirt. The reason I wanted to do the absorbing is I keep watching videos and I keep seeing people try it and they say, well, it doesn't work. And that's basic. What they do is just what I basically just did. They don't get into it. They don't really try to clean it the way they should. Now we're going to go for a little bit more heavy dirt. Some of the ground in stuff. And what we're going to do, I'm going to put it on the comic and I'm going to put pressure on it. And because this is not abrasive, it will not take off the color. You do occasionally end up with stuff like that. All you got to do, if you end up with a little bit stuck on there, that means it's really getting in there. It's really it's doing its job. It's doing what it's supposed to do. You just roll it over it and it'll pick it up. I will take a scan of this once I'm done. And we'll put it side by side with the original scan so that you can see that this stuff actually does work. And you can put pressure on it. I mean, you can bear down on it and it's not going to do anything. It doesn't take anything off of it. I'm actually putting quite a bit of pressure on this comic right now. But notice I'm always going away from the spine or towards the edge. And it takes a while. You're not going to get results in five minutes with this, or even ten minutes. Uh, you might see a little improvement, but for what I'm going for, it's going to take me a while to get it. Okay, I'm going to cut the camera off for a little while while I work on this, and then I'll come back to it. Okay, I've been working on this for about 30 minutes, and I'm pretty well happy with the way it's going. Uh, 
I could spend a lot more time on it and maybe get it really even cleaner than it is but uh, I want to press it too before I take another scan of it and uh, this is just a soft cloth that I use to clean it up uh, to get any residue of this this is starting to crumble uh, because it's got so much dirt in it now so let's take a look at what it looks like when it first comes out of the tub a nice clean sample big difference huh this is after I've used it and this is fresh and clean so uh, what do you do with this throw it away get rid of it you d once it starts crumbling up like that you don't want to use it anymore so I'm going to put this in my humidity bath and then I'm going to press it and while I press it I'm going to be working on the other comic so I'll be right back and I'm back so let's see what we can do with Ms. Drew here uh, my hands were sweating so bad in the gloves I had to take them off not that bad really but it's got a little bit of dirt along the sides that I would really like to see get off so we're going to take a nice clean new chunk get it ready And I'll do the same thing I did before. Go over it lightly to take off any surface dirt before I start trying to get any of the ground in stuff. Pretty sure this comic is worth under $10. Well, at least I hope it is. <laughs> and if it isn't and I ruin it, it's no big deal. I've got lots of comics. Okay. Got a little bit of dirt on the front, so we're going to start with that. Notice I'm taking a, and doing a rolling motion with it it's because I can get more pressure rolling it. Of course, when you get to the edge, you just kind of roll it right off the edge. And this takes a little bit more of the dirt off. I'm going a little harder over her over the title because it's in white and it shows up dirt a lot worse that's why I need to press it afterwards because they just wrinkled it don't think I put a crease in it I hope not anyway And I am putting a lot more pressure on it. Okay. 
happy with that. Now we'll go to the back side and do the back side. I'm basically going to be doing the same thing that I just did to the front. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the video so I can turn on my air conditioner because it's getting hot in here again. And uh, I'll show you what when I get uh, when I finish working on this. Okay. Um, happy with how it's looking right now. May not look like much of a change, but uh, we'll see what happens when uh, I compare the two side by side, the before and after. Uh, I'm going to get this ready to put in the humidity bath. The other one's already in the press. I Down here in Texas, it's pretty humid most of the time, so I don't have to leave it in the bath very long. Usually 10 minutes is more than enough time. I probably spent about 35 or 40 minutes total on this cover. I could have spent two or three hours easily and gotten a lot more of the dirt off. But like I said, I just want to give you an idea of how to use it so that uh, you won't run it across the comics three times and say, well, it doesn't work because it does work. Uh, so. We'll pick this up after the comics come out of the press, and I scan them, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, I got them all cleaned, pressed. Let's take a look. This is in Mylar already. This is a four-point Mylar, so it's a little thicker. Um... Yeah. Looks good that way, doesn't it? Let me get it so you can read it. Uh, but let's take a look at the scan of after. After it came out of the press. And then I'll put the before and after side by side so you can see the difference. It's not that big of a difference, but it's enough, I think. Uh, I'm going to do this again as soon as I find a nice comic that has a lot of dirt on the back. So you can really see the difference. Uh, in the meantime, let's take a look at Spider-Woman. Again, you're not going to see much difference on the front. It's the back where you might see a difference. Um, it looks great in Mylar, but let's take a look at the scan. And if I were going to submit this to CGC, I would definitely do a scan first, uh, simply because it's going to show you flaws that you're not going to see with the naked eye. This has some stress creases on the back that are hard to see. But after I scanned it, I looked at it and went, damn, if I was going to send this in, I'd have to press it again because those are really bad. And it wouldn't get the stress creases out all the way, but it would make them less noticeable. So uh, let's take a look at the before scan. Uh, excuse me. 
Let's take a look at the after scan. And now let's take a look at uh, both of them side by side. The one on the left is the original scan before I did anything to it. The one on the right is the scan after uh, clean and press. And like I said, I would press it again if I was actually going to submit it to CGC or CBCS or PGX or whatever company. And there you have it. You can clean comics using just absorbing. Um, it takes time. There's no question about it. It takes a lot of time. Yes, the air conditioner's on. I didn't feel like turning it off. It's kind of hot, even though it's early in the morning. Just remember one thing. Don't forget, before you handle your collectibles, your comics, your toys, whatever, wash your hands good for your collection, good for your health. We'll see you next video. Bye.